Welcome back gamers. I am the Compulsive Critic here with another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. So today I'm going to show you how to get the best horse in the game for free. How you doing, boy? This horse will be the Dark Bay Turkomon. And there's a mission in Chapter 3 where it becomes available if you know the trick to get it. So this is horse flesh for dinner. It starts at Calgary Hall in Lemoyne. You'll meet up with John Marston. Can I help you there? Sure. Those are supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. So after a few words with the guards, just ride on back to the stables. Everybody and everywhere there's troubles. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaite's? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000? For horses? Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fellow over there will run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. Now we'll ride with John and Javier to Braithwaite Manor. Yeah. Careful. There's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> all right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. A partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. But perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. But head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. That's it. Nice and easy. No need to rush. We don't want to draw any unnecessary. So we'll ride attention. through the fields. On our way to the stables. Alright, I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. We'll head around the front, hitch up there. Alright, 
Let's hitch up here. Let me do the talking. Right, hitch up. We'll talk to the stable hand. Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. That's what you're interested in? What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. You'll notice there's a black Arabian, a white Arabian, and the dark bay Turkoman. There you go, boy. Cerberus so we'll go ahead and kill the stable stud. hand. Many a race winner. Uh huh. Greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Don't need. Nobody recognizes. All right. I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. You sure we put our masks on? And now we'll steal the horses. Tom the White Arabian. Marston, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. And then we'll lead her out. You're okay, boy. If you've seen my previous video, you have seen the White Arabian with a horse that you can access for free early in the game in Chapter Two. What are you doing? Let's go quick. Go out of here! What the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! It's known as the fastest horse in the game. Not the White Arabian specifically, but the Arabians in general. So now we're right out of here. Take out guards along the way. More coming this way. Out of the fields. Let's go. Wagon. No 
send guards in pursuit. Go ahead and take them down. Out. No, don't think so. All right, let's get these horses to Clemens Cove quick before we run into any more trouble. Whoa, you okay there, boy? Shit. The Black Arabian will break is. loose and run off. Keep going. Just run up and catch it. Bring it back. This mission also opens up the horse fence. Now even though the Arabians may be the fastest horses in the game, they are not always the best when dealing with trouble. They are very skittish and will quickly buck you off at the sight of anything that scares them. So keep in mind, in order to accomplish this, you will need a lot of horse food. Hey Morgan, over here. You will need to feed the horse several times in order for it to bond with you. Just over there, come on. You can do this with the Black Arabian and get it instead. But the Dark Bay Turkoman is definitely the better choice. It's a larger horse. It's better at jumping, and it's also considered a race and a war horses. horse, which means it's fast and it holds up well in battle or against any predators. So as you approach, you want to go ahead and release the Black Arabian, get off your horse, and approach the Dark Bay Turkoman. Do not approach the rancher because the cutscene will automatically begin to play. So go ahead and start feeding the horse. The others will kind of run off, but that's fine. And you'll want to keep feeding it. As I said, it's going to take a lot of food. Keep in mind you can only do this with one of these horses at a time. If you try to do both, it won't work. I tried. So continue to feed it. You want to feed it until it reaches bonding level 1. And the horse icon shows on your map.
Take some time and patience. You will notice you are getting the horse bonding credits. And I want to show you this in real time because that way you'll see that it does work and how much food it does actually take. So before this mission just stock up on everything you can. But in my opinion it's well worth it. It's also a very beautiful horse. You notice I feed everything from out cakes to sugar cubes to mushrooms. Anything and everything I have on me. When you do bond with the horse as I've just done and you start to ride it later you're going to want to run off the excessive weight. I get back to fit level. But as I said still well worth it and anyway you still have to bond with it up to level 4 anyway. So I feed it just a little more after the bonding. Then just go to the rancher to complete the mission. What you boys want? Heard you was, uh, heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. So what are you, Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That's so? Maybe. Well, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you 
I can give you 654. Hey. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for him. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on. Yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Believed a yarn spun us by one of that Gray family. And imagined we was gonna be wonderfully rich. <sighs> At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. Now you'll be back at camp. And if you look on your mini map, you'll notice the horse icon available. So we'll just head to our horse and get on it. And we'll head back to the rancher. Or the fence, as it were. Remember me, boy. And that's where we'll find our horse. There he is. See, he's listed as a temporary horse. Now I'm just going to go ahead and cut through the trees. When you get close enough, you can just whistle for him. Here he comes. There's our horse. He still has the Braithwaite branding on him. I'll make sure I have him study for the compendium. You'll see there his top speed is 9 and his top acceleration is 7. It's a little under the acceleration of the Arabian, but his courage more than makes up for it. You will notice that the top speed of my thoroughbred is faster at 10. That's fully bonded at level 4. Although at level 4, the Turkoman will have higher health and stamina, and the difference in speed will be negligible. Get this off, you boy. You'll see here that I had expected to go ahead and transfer my saddle over to the Turkoman and start using it immediately. I found that I could not. Even though this is my horse and I'm bonded with it, it's just not allowing me to put the saddle on. When I got the White Arabian, I immediately put the saddle on to bond with it. I found that a little strange. Maybe it's because it's still considered the Braithwaite's horse. Not certain. However, you can still ride it. So we'll just go ahead and head on over to the stable.
I'll head to the closest one by Dewberry Creek. Yep. This horse's legs will crush soon if you don't lay off the tree. Got some so we'll want to stable him. Sorry, but without the paper, I can't pay you full price. I'm just going to scroll through the rest of my horses to compare them. As you can see the stats. You know, there's nothing worse than a drunk rider coming in here. The things they do with their horses it ain't right. So we'll want to saddle him up. All right, let's make the swap. That way we can do a little upgrading. Oh, the horse will really like this. I always like to hit that horse package. And sticking with the theme of storms for my horses, I will name him Hurricane. Oh, that's a good match. And there we have the Dark Bay Turkoman. In my opinion, absolutely the best horse you can get and use in the game for free. So that's it for today, gamers. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button. Remember, you can subscribe to my channel. You can ding that notification bell to be notified of future videos I post. As always, feel free to comment on this video. Share this video. I am the Compulsive Critic. I'll see you next time. Take care now.